All right. So good morning, everybody, or good evening, I guess, wherever you are. Hopefully, everybody can hear me and see me. I'll just wait for confirmation real quick, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get going here. So let's see here. I know uh, Mia probably just finished up a live stream. Uh, she just hit her 10,000 subscribers, so congrats to uh, Mia. Still got my morning coffee going here. Um, again, I'll just wait for confirmation that you guys can see me and hear me. Okay, we got confirmation. Awesome. All right, so I figured today we would talk a little bit about uh, what are you doing to plan for your retirement now that a lot of you guys have some extra time since you probably were coming out to the Philippines earlier than uh, expect, or you, you were coming out earlier, but now you're delayed unexpectedly. Uh, because of this whole pandemic thing. Uh, and now in the news, um, I, again, I, uh, between Paul and I, I, th I still think I'm going to win this bet here because now the Philippines apparently detected 11 uh, new cases with the Delta variant. So that has them up in arms. Um, what else? Travel restrictions on eight countries extended. Um, and it looks like there is a tropical depression coming. Other than that, not a whole lot to report and not much else going on. Uh, Malaysia and Thailand might be added to the travel ban. They're looking at doing that. So we shall see. All right. So uh, they're also investigating uh, fake COVID-19 test results too. Apparently that's going on. Uh, another 1.15 million AstraZeneca doses for private sectors arrived today. So um, you can go to a private sector and pay for the vaccine here. Um, right now they are giving out it out for free, but if you have like a preferred vaccine and you don't mind paying for it, you can go and, and pay for it. All right, so let's go ahead and begin here. I will go through some comments first, then we'll go ahead and start on the retirement thing. There's a few things I had forgot to mention that I, on the video that I just did. So we'll kind of go over some of those things too. All right, let's see here. Ron here, of course, first as always. <laughs> Good morning, Ron. Paying off all the debt. Yeah, that's usually step number one because you, you really don't want to have to deal with paying debt when you're over here. It's It's really not a good thing if you can help it. Ah, uh, nothing like a coffee in the morning. All right, so let's see. Ron says, my retirement plan didn't work out so well when I retired 62, now X of 40 years, had already retired at 65. Because Social Security and pension, we would be in good shape, surprise, divorce, yeah. Um, but what I'm talking about uh, specifically is coming out to the Philippines, so more of a things to prepare for retirement here versus just like retirement in general. Um, so Ed, what am I doing? Collecting your sage advice, already beginning to downsize. That's, that's one of them and minimize feeding my 401k and savings targeting roughly two years from next month or less if possible. You're, you're on your way, Ed, you are on your way. <laughs> yep. Mia, uh, I, Paul and I will, will talk and, and Paul will say, Hey, I'm going to do a live stream at eight. And then we'll, we'll kind of schedule around each other. We try not to cross each other's uh, streams if possible. I know too many different vloggers now that it's almost, you know, Paul old dog and every man has a story and, and all of that. Uh, at the beginning, you know, we would try to avoid each other's live streams, but now it's just too much. You got all these different vloggers. You, you just can't do it. I just, I just have my steady schedule and I keep it at that. If somebody else wants to do a live stream across from mine, then, you know, have at it. it. It doesn't really matter. So just finished with uh, Mia's live. Okay. Awesome. Good morning, uh, Kenneth. Good morning, uh, Jean-Pierre. Uh, good morning, Joe. What's the saying? We make our plans. We hear God laughing. Yep. I think old dog says that a lot, right? <laughs> Put all your savings on black one shot at freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think you're lucky with what uh, lucky one with no ex-wife or current wife. You probably are. Um, 
going through a divorce can definitely mess up your financial uh, plans for sure. All right. So, hey, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, uh, Michael from Pampanga. Michael's talking about making the um, trip out to Cebu possibly. So, hey, Jeff, how you doing? Okay, so this is another one of my points. This is what I was talking about. Uh, make a trial run in the Philippines for four months. Been here for almost two years now with a baby on the way in two months. First time dad at 61. Well, congrats. First time dad at 61. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I would imagine you're a bit excited, huh? All right, let's see. We got Edward here. Good morning, Edward. Good to see you. So, Scott, I'm only 34, but already working on my retirement to get the hell out of the West. You know, honestly, if I could do it again, I probably would have left earlier. I would have figured out ways to make income online and uh, got out of the West. I really would have. There's so many digital nomads out here now. Um, not like just in, more actually go to like Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, places like that. Less go to the Philippines as far as digital nomads go. So let's see here. Uh, Ed, thank you so much for the super chat coffee contribution. Always look forward to your vids and live streams and appreciate your insights. Thank you so much, Ed. Um, so the first uh, thing I wanted to mention, and then we'll, we'll get back to comments. Um, as I had forgot to mention on the retirement planning video that I just did about setting up a Google phone number before you get out here. It's important to have that one because you know what, you can get the SIM card and get a Philippines phone number, but God forbid you lose your phone or the SIM card gets damaged and then you don't have that phone number and then you get locked out of your Facebook, you can be locked out of banking, um, so many different things that use the two-step verification method you know by texting you it's so much better to have a google phone number set up that stays forever you know i mean you don't have to worry about being locked out of that or losing your phone or something but it's very important just for all your local banks and and uh, anything that you do in the west you want a steady phone number that's going to stay you know and uh so you got to set that up because a lot of like if you want to order products or you want to uh, set up banking or investments or anything, all these places, they want you to have like a local phone number in the US or Australia or Canada or the UK or whatever. And, and so you, you got to set that up. It's just really important. So do that before you leave. Do it now. Set up a, uh, a phone number on Google. So. Um, but don't, yeah, I, uh, don't let that uh, discourage you, you know, Scott. I would go ahead and, uh, you know, work work on uh, living and uh, maybe not retiring immediately, but living a better life out here. You can do it. So working, stashing, more savings, waiting. Yeah, a lot of people are in the waiting game right now, right? <laughs> Still retiring next June. Yeah, you'll hit 62. So I still I'm enjoying still being somewhat younger out here. But uh, at the same time, I wouldn't mind having that pension coming in. Canada opening for vaccinated travelers September. So what do you guys think? Who's going to win the bet? Paul says that Philippines was going to open like this last quarter, like September, October, November, December. And I'm still going with the first quarter of next year, January, February, March or so. You know, what do you guys think? Oh, you retired last Friday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Dave, how you doing? I heard every Asian country is open. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, really, Thailand is about it. But, you know, Thailand and Malaysia is going through, M Malaysia and Vietnam are going through some serious lockdowns now, too. Uh Hey, Eric, how you doing? Good morning from South Bend, Indiana, Geo. One of these days I'll be flying to see my girlfriend that lives in Lapu Lapu. We'll do coffee sometime. You know what's funny is um, I talked to two guys, their brothers, and they are getting married to two sisters in Lapu Lapu. So two brothers and two sisters, 
they're in a long distance. Um, they're both getting married. They're waiting for things to open up. And I was having a uh, ramen the other day here in Mocktown, Newtown, and the two sisters walked by me. Now, I, I've never seen them. I don't know them. And they waved at me and said, hello, Gio. And I'm like, who, who are these girls? Um, and then later I got an email from the boyfriend saying, hey, uh, yeah, they, they know who you are. They watch your channel for news updates and things. And uh, it, so it was kind of funny that I, I ran into them because I've talked to the boyfriends before, uh, but not the girlfriends. And, and now I can put the faces together. But that's kind of a cool story. Two brothers getting married to two sisters. That's that's kind of cool. I would I would love to be invited for that wedding. Actually, that would be a good vlog, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hey, good morning, Colin. How are you doing? Pfizer or Moderna are the best, they say. Yeah, that's that's what they say. I know. I, I know. It's uh, totally ridiculous. I, it's almost like it's a political type of a snub or something. Um, what are they charging for paid? I don't know, Perry. I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I'm probably just going to do the free one myself. So <clears throat> how are you doing, uh, Alfred? Good morning from Vancouver. And Mark, there was already here in the U.S. someone arrested for falsifying COVID cards and shots. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen now. That's going to be like a, a thing that's going to happen. That's going to be the new thing going out. How you doing, Raquel? Good morning. Uh, would you recommend I get a property management company to manage my rental property here in the U.S. or just sell it? I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to give you that advice. That's um, above my pay pay grade. But, you know, if the house is paid for, that is a fantastic income to come in, you know. So I, I don't know. You have to make that decision. If you're still making monthly payments on it, um, I don't know. It's up to you. But that uh, may not be a bad thing to hold on to. So, uh, Thank you so much, uh, Ed, for the super chat. Thank you. Welcome to Geo in the Philippines. I'm Ed. We are all Ed. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Edward, thanks so much for the super chat. Well, I can't let the other head be the only coffee fund contributor. Fortunately, I never got married, so I used the weight to get in better shape and pay off debt. Jeep will be paid off in two years. What will you do with your Jeep, Ed? W would you sell it or would you just keep it? I uh, hated getting rid of my Jeep. I had a Jeep Wrangler Laredo. I had put a lot of money into it, um, upgrading and stuff, but yeah. I hated getting rid of it. All right, let's see here. A bit behind on the comments. Let's try my best to get caught up here. We got good morning, uh, David, um, Irene. Good to see you, John. Uh, just finished watching Mia. Yep, again, congratulations, Mia. She's hit the ten thousand subscriber mark. Ten thousand subscribers is kind of when I felt like okay. This is this channel is actually taken off. I, I I can actually go somewhere with this, but uh, yeah. Okay, you'll be in in Cebu two weeks if travel does not get shut down again. Very cool. Yeah, Michael and I have been chatting for a while, so Michael and I will probably definitely meet up. Let's see here. Uh, when I retire, should I buy a one way ticket, a throwaway ticket, or buy a round trip unrestricted ticket? You know, if uh, if you are 100% positive you are moving here, I say just buy the one way and buy a throwaway ticket. If you don't feel comfortable with a throwaway ticket, you can buy a cheap ticket just flying into Malaysia or Vietnam or uh, Singapore or Taiwan or any place like that. And you can just use that as a throwaway ticket as well. Some people just aren't comfortable with the throwaway ticket. First time I used it, I was quite nervous. I was going through, you know, the... Uh, um, immigration there and, and and they're looking and then they asked you are you are you flying out of here i was like yeah i'm flying out in three weeks and they're like okay they didn't even ask to look at the ticket so uh they're free but there's also paid vaccinations you can do in the private sectors now ron and i didn't know if you knew about that usa rocks thank you so much for the super chat i appreciate that let's see here Sending all my 2021 and 2022 traveling money buying crypto. Better get some of that XRP. You know, I, the crypto thing just makes me nervous. Um, I continue to invest, but I, I'm not doing it through crypto. I just do it through regular, the regular uh, investment. I just do systematic type monthly investment. 
Okay, so Raquel, you are in Hong Kong. Soon may be lifted, just fully vaccinated. You can entry those Filipino come to Hong Kong for work. That'd be great. Right now, um, if you're vaccinated, then you can come into, if, if you're an OFW or you have an existing visa, you have to quarantine for seven days and then, you know. Uh, hey, Scott, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Julius, I just keep working and saving. My retirement will be larger the closer to 66. I'm almost 64, but if the Philippines opens up before I'm 66, I'll come anytime. Screw waiting to 66 then. I agree with you. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. You know, enjoy your retirement as early as you can is, is what I say. Uh, Google phone number is an excellent idea. So thanks for recommending Facebook Messenger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you don't have... You, you can have like a dummy Facebook account. You don't have to put anything on your Facebook, but at least have Facebook for Messenger because when you're in the Philippines, Facebook Messenger is free even if you don't have data so you can still communicate with people. Yeah, yeah. You, you, the, a lot of the banks won't use the international, and I forgot to mention that on my retirement planning. you got to have get a Google phone number. I don't know, but I could certainly do one. That's a good idea. That's actually a good idea. So um, you kept your T-Mobile account. Works great here and family and friends can call and not worry about extra charges. Yeah, because you know what? One time I had everything set up. Facebook as a second, uh, you know, second way to get into my Facebook, you know, second verification, banking, all kinds of stuff set up with my phone number in the Philippines. And guess what? I left my phone in the taxi and I was screwed, man. I couldn't get into a lot of accounts. I had I had lost my Yahoo account, which I had a lot of important emails, I'm sure. I had to, it was a pain. So get the Google phone number, definitely. I wanna leave the USA so I don't have to give 50% of my income to the government. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So you think Paul's gonna win? I mean, I hope he does. I, I hope he does, but uh, we'll see. Uh, watching my videos. <laughs> well, hopefully. I, I, I can't give you uh, everything, but uh, maybe I can help a little bit along the way. <clears throat> I say the first quarter, if not later than that. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe he just keeps it at home. I don't know. Uh, do you still need a visa for the Philippines to get into the Philippines? Yes. Um, during normal times, you don't need a visa. You can just come here and you get 30 days. Then after that, you would extend and they would put a stamp in your uh, passport. So won't open till after the elections. A lot of people are saying that that wouldn't surprise me, but it also wouldn't surprise me, Michael, that maybe they do that pre election for a boost for whatever political party is running. You know, maybe they push for the Philippines opening. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Establish solid revenue streams and not depending on just Social Security and small amounts. That's the that's definitely for sure. Trying to take care of my health, continue to save money and listen to Geo's up step dates. <laughs> Money's on me. OK. Uh, Scott. Paul is going to owe me a coffee at uh, Starbucks, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy like one of these huge mugs and I'm going to have Starbucks just, or whatever coffee shop, Tom and Tom said it's whatever, keep filling it up with multiple um, cups of coffee because the, the bet was one cup of coffee. It didn't, it didn't specify how large the cup is and it didn't specify if we can't bring our own mug. So I'm going to bring this huge mug and he will fill it up. First quarter next year. Yep. Happy weekend all. Thanks for another fun live chat. Looking forward to those travel videos. Yeah, I've actually have been doing quite a bit of traveling lately. I went up into the mountains yesterday, so I, I do have some videos to make. Google phone only available to existing US based mobile or land line phone numbers to qualify. What you can do is you can um, use a friend. If you know a friend in the U.S., you can use their phone number to, to help you get it set up. So 
first quarter next year as well. I have a couple of kids in Davao. Huh. Well, if, if you're on the birth certificate, you, there might be a way to get into the Philippines. I know somebody who, who got in that way. Can Army Disabled 100% apply for special visa? Special visa. I, if you are 50 and older, Daniel, then you can get the, uh, the military one. Uh, what is it called? The friendly V, uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Michael probably knows. Uh, Governor, Governor Gwen is fed up with it. She wants things open. She wants people to get, uh, back, you know, back into business and, you know, people are struggling. But unfortunately, she's just a governor. She doesn't have the power to get it open. I've seen a video of a, a guy in YouTube renting a nice studio for 250 food 120 His total per month was 550 He lives in Angeles. Why do you think that's not possible? Um, I've never said it's not possible. I said it's not the life that I would want to live. If he's living at that, he's definitely not going out very much to treat himself for eating. Um, he's not doing a whole lot of dates. He's not doing a lot of traveling. So if I have to come here and just stay in my apartment and watch Netflix all day, and that's my entertainment and cook ramen at home, that's not, that's not enjoying my life. Um, I didn't come out here to, to live on 500 bucks a month. You know, I don't know about you guys, you guys comment and let me know, but that, that's, can you do it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know. I know a handful of people who do it, but I don't think they're totally happy. I mean, maybe they're happier than they were in the U.S. or the West, but I don't think they're really enjoying a fulfilled life, personally. I I think I am, Tim, I, unfortunately, unfortunately. 6,000 new international tourists have arrived at the Phuket sandbox since it started. Koh Samoy Samoy is doing the same. Small steps, yeah. It's it's going, it's going. Forty eight. So you got it. You have to wait to age fifty, Daniel. You're almost there, man. You're almost there. Keep uh, saving, preparing, minimalizing, doing all that stuff. Novales Cabeza. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm thirty two, and I'm Mexican, living in Mexico. I have like five thousand saved, and I earn like a thousand plus U.S. monthly without working with my book royalties. Do you think that's enough for my retirement there? I think that's a good start. You're almost there. Could you come over here and, and live off of that? Yeah, you could. Um, for me, it's not quite comfortable enough, but I don't know what your lifestyle is like. So again, you, everybody's got a different type of a lifestyle. It's a really hard question to answer when people say, is that enough? It just depends. Do you want to live out in the province someplace? Do you want to live uh, in, in a condo? I just don't know what your lifestyle is like do some wife swapping. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine how many millions of dollars will drop in the Philippines as soon as it opens? Honestly, it might be in the, it could be, there's going to be a lot of people that want to get here. A lot of guys traveling to Lapalapa to see their girlfriend. Could it be the same girl? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, uh, I had T-Mobile mall mail me a SIM card about six months ago. I'm upgrading my phone after I moved to Cebu. Uh, retired 54, regret was not retiring at 50, had been retired for 12 years now. That's, that's awesome. I'm not retired, but I guess I'm, I would call myself semi-retired because I don't, I certainly don't work 40 hours a week. Not anymore. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I would love to interview her, uh, interview her. I think she's great. Um, She's very well spoken. Uh, I think she's intelligent. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wish her all the best. Might open on an extremely limited sandbox. That's true. It could. Yeah, listen, um, if you don't want a vaccination, if you don't want to be vaccinated, you probably aren't coming out to Asia within the next five years. I absolutely want to go to Indonesia. Absolutely, I do. Just right now, everything's just in flux. So I'm just waiting, you know. It's a lot of places I still want to travel to. 
Uh, hello, Gio from Yorktown, Virginia. Virginia, uh, five years to retire, decided to retire at 62, take Social Security at the reduced rate. My pension and Social Security, I will be at 5.3K monthly before taxes. I can't afford Florida on that. 5.3, you are going to live like a king out here, like a king. 40 million doses of Pfizer. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're chugging along. They're chugging along for the vaccines. I'm following suit with Ed. I'll sell my house and my Jeep Patriot as I get closer to pulling the trigger to relocate. That was probably one of the hardest things for me, uh, getting rid of my car. It felt so foreign not to have a vehicle. It was, I got rid of my car two weeks before I moved to the Philippines. And it was so weird not to be able to just walk outside, hop into my car and, and take off. I was riding a bicycle. And guess what? I was riding a bicycle in December in Wisconsin. It was a bit chilly. I wasn't doing too much riding. You know, usually like I would borrow a car from a friend or something. But yeah. Do a trial run and store the Jeep during that time. Decide if you want uh, uh, to move, I'll sell it probably kill me to do it. Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I love that thing. Yeah, it, it's hard, but you know what? You won't think about it once you're here and living life. You won't even think about it. So, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Sabuano from Toronto. I heard the Delta variant is rising. Yeah, it was actually in the news today. So true. What happens if you show a round trip ticket that exceeds the 30 day tourist visa restriction? Um, they will have a problem with that. They uh, will, they might send you back to the immigration and have you do an extension. Uh, you can do a, another, or you can do a 29 day extension right at the airport. So, yeah, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching. When I first came here, I used a service that was like 10 bucks for a throwaway ticket. Yep, that's, that's what I did. Onwardticket.com is what I use. Uh, Jude, I do have a one bedroom condo I paid in cash for. That is what I'm going back and forth on to sale, sell or not to sell and just rent it out where I'm going for 700 a month. I'm still not sure what to do. Well, you know, that monthly income, if your condo is you paid cash for, that's a nice little chunk of money to bring in each month. 234 now. Uh, getting the last of my dividend investments going, looking at places to live, looking at apartments in Baguio City, Mactan, or hang out with the old dog in Valencia. They're all they're all very different environments, really. Um, they're all very different. So I would I would recommend you just do a month here, a month there, a month there. Just kind of explore and uh, and see what you like the best. Because they're they're all kind of very different, to be honest. Um, Greg has some good advice. Make sure to use your Google Voice number on a semi regular basis after you set it up. They do cancel and reissue numbers that are not used. Uh, okay, good good information, Greg. Three so Moto Access Google Search: How to make your bike a trike kit. Huh. I don't want to quarantine and do not want the vaccine. I told my wife she will have to go there by herself. Oh, really? My sis and my sister-in-law and her family got to their final retirement location, Panglao Island. Behold, they've been in Mindanao since December last year. Oh, very good. Um, a lot of people like Bahol. Bahol is kind of just a relaxed island life. It really is. It's um, a lot of people really like that. So, uh, David, thank you so much for the super chat. Good morning. Nice to hear you live. Coffee on me. Cheers, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can get caught up here. Second, the Google phone number. Yeah, it's a good idea. How you doing, Juan? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I know when I retire at 62, I would have to wait for the world to open back up, but no one knew that would happen six months before when I did retire. I would have kept on working. Yeah, 
is getting a motorcycle license required? Do most people drive without it? Well, <laughs> most Filipinos out in the province don't have licenses and often their bikes not even registered because they don't have the money. Um, in the city, it's a totally different story. Uh, they have traffic enforcers that will stop you and do traffic checks and, and you do have to, um, you do have to produce a valid license. So yes, you have to have a license. Um, you are only allowed to drive on your foreign license, whether it be an international license or just your regular license from whatever home country you're from. You can only drive on that for 90 days. Now, the trick is when you get here, now they know um, because of the pandemic, they know people aren't coming in. But before, if you told them, yeah, I just came here 30 days ago, they didn't, they had no way to verify. So they would just let you go. But now if they pulled me over and I said, oh, I've only been here 30 days, they know I'm full of shit because they know nobody's getting in because of the pandemic. So they, they know I need to have my license. So only IT, IT guys feel comfortable investing in crypto as a 35 year IT professional. Most cryptocurrency is real and not a scam. Yeah, I just don't know enough about it that it, I feel comfortable with it. So, uh, hey, good morning. Uh, greetings from Belgium with many feet in the water here. How are you doing? Living, live my Philippines dream. Mark Zuckerberg said the world opens 2025. That wouldn't surprise me. Really wouldn't. I think first quarter of 2022 is optimistic. Herd immunity won't be achieved till 2023. 2100. <laughs> I do plan to come to the Philippines on vacation to meet my LDR for three weeks as a mini trial run. I think three weeks is good to get to know somebody. Um, you won't know for sure if you really would want to live here after three weeks because you almost have to live the life for a few months to see if this is for you or not. But yeah, three weeks is good. Marrying an awesome Filipino woman with money. That's always a bonus. Is there any motivation for the government of the Philippines to open? Well, you, you would think there would be, um, but it, it doesn't seem that way, does it? How long is your condo lease for? Um, I just extended. Um, I extended out to a year. So... If I fill up that big mug with coffee, you better drink it all. <laughs> well, there's no time constraint on drinking it all. I can I can just heat it up in the microwave and drink it the next day too. Right? <laughs> so, working in Hong Kong is domestic helper OFW to support my family. Well, very good, Raquel. I wish you the best. Stay safe there. Uh, everyone, do not know with. Even if you are getting, you can live on 1100 a month here in the U.S. So if I'm living just fine on that much in the U.S., then I know I can live on that much here in the Philippines. That's true. You can. Um, again, it just depends on uh, what kind of lifestyle you want. But certainly, I mean, people say, I can live on 500 a month. In the yeah, you can. You probably can. I, I know people who do it, but um, it's just not my lifestyle. 1100 though, I think you can live pretty well. If you, depending, you know, if I tweaked my lifestyle, even living here in the condo, I could live at probably around a thousand. I could cut, I could trim back a lot of stuff and I could still live here. Okay. So Gwen for the next president, I would, I'd love to see her as a, as a president. Most foreigners really like her, but again, since we have no say in the matter, it doesn't really matter. I was surprised you and Paul responded so quickly on your Facebook group with thoughtful answers. People like your videos should join. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, if you want to join, uh, we're pretty active on the Geo in the Philippines dash friends Facebook group. If anybody wants to join, um, it's turned into a lot of information, getting questions answered, um, updates, dating site. <laughs> There's a lot of single Filipinas on there too. Uh, good morning, Hazel. I would love to visit Japan too, but uh, again, it's a more expensive country in Asia, so it's not high on my list, but it is a country that I would want to visit. Later this year, okay. 
Yeah, El, El Nido, <clears throat> Palawan, all those places, yeah. Second quarter, you win the bet. <laughs> quarter princess, princessa, yeah. I am eating steaks, too, for dinner and ordering pizza. Yeah, I mean, you, you can live fine for that, yeah. December 2021. I, I hope that's the case. April 2022. Angeles is expensive place to live. It is a town designed to separate tourists from money. Yeah, you're right. Um, I had that experience when I visited there. I had a good buddy that lived there. I was in the Philippines 2019. I miss it. I met my girlfriend and we were staying strong. You can live for free in New York, stay in shelter free Medicaid, 300 a month in food stamps. <laughs> I, <think we're laughs> I know a guy living in Angeles off 1800 a month. He has a cheap apartment. It's a bit tight for him. Hmm. 1600 a month. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of numbers thrown back and forth. It, it, again, it really just depends on where you live and how you live. You have four baby mamas in the Philippines. I messed up. All right. <laughs> good idea to keep my phone I have in the U.S. used in the Philippines. It's it's a good idea to have a phone number to, to use for your banking and different things. By the way, I've ordered Amazon three times in the last month here, and all three packages have arrived within like 10 days, like no problem. And Amazon coming to the condo was fantastic because came to the condo, and the reception just accepted the package and buzzed me in my room and said, Hey, uh, Giovanni, your package is here. And I was, and came down and grabbed my package. It was fantastic. So, ciao, Gio, como estai? Maxing out 401k IRA and setting up my domicile in Florida to reduce tax burden in retirement, planning to submit app for courtesy SSRV. Is courtesy, is that the, I'm trying to f remember the ones. For the military i can't remember the name of that one but but yeah um you can start the process but you'll have to complete it being in the philippines yeah you can and, and you can uh, you can treat yourself out once in a while for sure you don't have to eat just totally but um i'm kind of i believe it or not i eat um red rice and black rice once in a while and i'll eat it with spanish sardines you know, and that's a cheap meal, actually. <clears throat> Long-term strategy for any country to open for good is having their citizens vaccinated at least 75% herd immunity follow the science. Well, that's what most countries, I think, are wanting to do, except for Mexico's, I think. I think they, uh, they're they giving out like 13 million, from my understanding. COVID is back in the USA, and this is a bioweapon. Okay. If Philippines opens, do you expect vendors, restaurants, hotels, et cetera, drive the prices through the roof? No, I don't think it'll, I don't think it would be like that. Um, I think prices will come back to normal. I think there will be some price gouging a little bit, trying to get as much, you know, these people have been hurting for a while. So yeah, I don't think it's going to shoot through the roof. In fact, I don't, I don't see when the Philippines opens, I don't think the floodgates are going to open and just everyone's going to come pouring in. First of all, you got all the people who don't want the vaccine who aren't going to, who've already scratched off the Philippines off their list. Second, a lot of people were hurt by the pandemic and out of work for a long time and maybe are just recovering again financially. And so they don't really have the money to come out here. Three, a lot of them, they had long distance relationships and that was probably one of the main reasons they were coming out here. And a lot of those long distance relationships ended. Um, I know tons of them that have ended and therefore it's probably not a priority to get out here anymore. And uh, four, I think it's gonna be limited amount of people allowed on a daily basis, like limited flights, things like that. So I don't think it's just gonna, people are just gonna pour back into the Philippines from my opinion. Hey, how you doing from Salt Lake City? Good to see you. 
Yeah, you can buy a Jeep here in the Philippines, about 30% increase. Uh, okay, you had uh, some tech problems. Gio, do you know for me, it's starting to look better to move to some place in South America, like Argentina or Uruguay, both these places you can buy and own land there, unlike in the Philippines. Again, guys, I, I always tell you, it's not such a bad idea to have a Filipino wife and maybe go live in a different country. It doesn't have to be the West. It can be like a Latin American country or something like that. And then you guys can make um, trips out to the Philippines and stuff. You don't have to take her back to the West necessarily. Um, my goal is still, and, and probably who knows if it'll change, but my goal is still probably Malaysia. So... Uh, if I was coming for a six week holiday, would I need a throwaway ticket? You, well, if you're coming for a six week holiday, you will have a return ticket back. Um, you'll just have to extend your visa at the airport. So that is going to be May of next year, I believe. So I did a dry run two years ago. I hope to do three more dry runs before figuring out if I want Cebu City Life or Dowin snorkeling all the time. Well, you know, um, there's also other places where you could snorkel. I mean, Mobile. Um, there's places up north like Malapasqua, you know, or Camotes. There's a lot of places you could. Bohol would be great too. There's a lot of places. Hey, Jess. Yeah, everything's going good. Most difficult thing about retirement is not having productive things to do. We'll be welcomed as a healthy, active, intelligent English speaker with a passion to serve the local community. You can get involved in the community. You can join groups. Um, you can you can join. Like I've thought about joining a motorbike riding group. Uh, you can join. A, you can sign up for a local college class, like on photography or cooking or whatever, to meet people. Um, if you're thinking of some kind of charity or something like that, you have to be careful. You got to be, um, you want to make sure you have necessarily the necessary documents and permits and all that kind of stuff. 4k is excellent. Excellent. Gio, you've got better odds winning the bet. Philippine government doesn't communicate opening plans or have enough vaccines. A lot of Filipinos don't trust the vaccines in the government. That's right. I'm um, talking to a lot of Filipinos here. A lot of them have shown up to get the vaccine. And when they said it was Sinovac, they've turned around and left. I've talked to a few Filipinos who have actually done that. A long distance relationship, long distance relationship. I think Paul's Paul is sweating bullets now. He's like, how big of a mug could Gio get? <laughs> I'll have to find the most expensive coffee place, of course. It probably probably will be Starbucks. So I will have to get the most expensive coffee on their list and then just have them keep dumping it into this massive mug that I have. I would find it really hard to live with less than two and a half a month in Manila, not interested in anything else. Finding it hard to believe keep, people can live with less than 1.5. Well, I mean, uh, I, was doing le I was doing fine in Dumaguete with less than that. But, uh, and that was with, uh, with a girlfriend. Yeah, actually I will. I will do one. Um, I'll do one very soon. How about that? I spend between 3000, 4000 a month and live really well here. That's you spend way more than I do. You spend twice the amount that I do. I got nailed riding my motor just on a car license, big fine, plus had to renew my license, which I had done only three months before. Nailed here in the Philippines, you're talking about? Or in the US? Uh, the I'll uh, put out a link for the uh, Geo in the Philippines Facebook group. I think we have about 700 members right now, and it's uh, growing pretty uh, steadily all the time. So here's the link to my Geo in the Philippines dash friends Facebook group. 
Uh, do not drink or go to bars. So that's a lot less money you need to live on if you are not spending that much money and drinking in bars. Mark, I'm, I'm with you. I, I don't drink. Um, I will go to a bar for live music, but I don't really drink. I'll have a I'll have one drink once in a blue moon special occasion. That's it. June 2022. Um, I encountered overt racism in rural Japan, refused resto and hotel services, not all, but enough to make it a practical problem. Huh. I was hoping you were drunk with all the spelling problems. <laughs> Maybe he's doing voice to text. Some people do that. <clears throat> I'm not going to retire fully uh until um let's see i'm gonna retire fully till 2023 but i'm going to visit for a couple of months when philippines opens i have about 5200 monthly in retirement and cash reserves i mean these these amounts that some of you guys are mentioning are just more more than you could even spend there's a stupid gnat flying around sorry <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, some of these numbers, guys, I mean, honestly, a couple thousand a month and you're living well here, really. Nope, I took it all with me. I had no need for a Balika buy-in box before you arrived. However, when I go back to the U.S., I do have a group. Um, I'm sorry, I have one box of stuff that I'll probably will just ship over here if I decide to stay permanently. So... If your Filipina can cook and buy in the local market, it really cuts down your food budget. Yeah, when I when I had a girlfriend living in Dumaguete full time, my budget for food was actually less because she was cooking all the time and she wanted to go to the market. So now that I'm single and alone, um, I don't really go to the market all that much. I feel a little weird sometimes going to the market. I I, I go, but um, I don't. I just find it easier and more convenient to go to the grocery store one stop. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it can be done, it can be done. SSRV visa is not available now. My fiance, he received email yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, Raquel, um, you can join the GEO in the Philippines Friends Facebook group. Um, I'm sure there'd be a lot of guys interested in chatting with you. Herd immunity is not possible to be achieved by vaccination, only by integration among the herd and public. Vaccines have been never been proven to cure anything ever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Courtesy SSRV is the one for former military with a pension over age 50. That's it. Uh, before it was 35. Now they've changed it. So. Hey, morning, Stan. How you doing? Once you cross a certain threshold and a monthly amount, you start to get a lot more for your money. At least that's the way it used to be. Do you find that to be true? Yeah, it, it is. Um, it takes money to make money. Everybody's heard that saying before. How you doing, Fred? Good to see you. I Yeah. No open date in sight for Southeast Asia. 18 months ago. Yeah, I you know when this whole thing started, we we everybody kept saying you know what oh just a couple more weeks or another month, you know when this whole lockdown happened, I really thought it was just going to be like a a month. Argentina and Uruguay are culturally Western, probably you know. Could be dangerous, dangerous, yeah. What's the deal with the second throwaway ticket? Because you have to show that you're leaving the Philippines unless you're on a visa. If you have a visa when you arrive, then you, you don't need that. Like if you have a, a you know, a 13A, a marriage visa or a retirement visa, then you don't need it. But otherwise you have to show you're leaving the country within 30 days. Hi, Gio. Philippines is not developed enough for me, so I'll probably end up in Malaysia, but Philippines will only be a few hours away by plane. That's exactly my, my point. Um, Malaysia is just the best of both worlds. 
and you can come to the Philippines as often as you want. I, I would fly to the Philippines both my times in Malaysia. I flew round trip to the Philippines for like $100. I flew to Vietnam for $100 round trip into, into Vietnam. So it's not... Uh, You don't have to bring your Filipino wife to South America. Just keep her in the Philippines and have, I don't know what that last word is. Cebu Red Cross is an option as a give back option. Looking at Facebook marketplace and I'm looking at rentals. There's a lot of Western type places around owning a place is not a goal of mine when I retire. I don't want to own a place either. It's just another extra headache for me. Um, I don't believe the Philippines will open until 2023 at the earliest due to the ineptitude of the government and the lack of understanding. We're just going to have to live with whatever danger. Yeah, a lot of people are feeling that it's much further out than we ex think. You know. Exercise every day. Yeah, if you're bored, a bored retiree, exercise, volunteer work, learn the local language. Get involved in some groups, take a class out of college, find some new hobbies like snorkeling. I mean, there's so much you can do to, to keep yourself from getting bored, you know. Um, yeah, I know I notice a difference, um, but I think part of it, I think it would be a whole new world if you actually spoke Thai and the differences here at least you can communicate with everybody, you know, um, in Thailand, no. So, yeah. So, uh, hey, Gio, I'm from the U.S., married to a Filipino, living in Canada, started online through mutual acquaintance. We are making plans for the Philippines retirement currently. Love your channel. I appreciate that, T uh, TD. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, Langkawi, Lang great roads, beautiful countryside, amenities. There's a lot of place, a lot of beautiful places. Oh, in late day, yeah, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. Cebu is is definitely cheaper than Luzon. Okay, yeah, you, you will. You, I think you'll like it better here, Michael. There's more places to see and do. Uh, to answer your question, Geo, east of Belgium, west of Germany, north of the Netherlands, Netherlands is hit with never seen rain and water flooding. Uh, okay. Many died. How many houses collapsed from all the river going over the borders? It's a real natural disaster now. Wow, I, I haven't uh, heard about that. With the promised deliveries of AstraZeneca, Moderna, Pfizer, JJ coming, Metro Manila, and the 10 plus cities will open up slowly this September, October. Domestically, perhaps, but I don't think internationally. Um, more violent and corrupt? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's hard to say. You never know. When, you, when people are starving, you know, you, you, people do desperate things. So how are you doing, Steve and Kenosha? Watching the waves crash along the shores of Lake Michigan. Oh, that's very cool. I, I miss the Midwest a little bit. Uh, not the winters, but <laughs> the spring, summer, fall. He lived in the Dominican Republic in 1985 for 400 a month. Yeah, that's, that's a long time ago. Yeah, racist in Japan is a big thing. There are some places foreigners are not even able to go to or go into in Japan. Huh. Yeah, thank you, uh, York. Great info, Geo, and chat members. Much appreciated. Appreciate that, guys. How you doing, David? Good to see you. I hear once you have an ACR card, you can open a bank account and also get for motor license. You can. Uh, with the motor license, they basically want you to be here for six months. That's that's what I was told. So. Was hoping to retire this year, just turned 60, but now likely planning next October or 2023. So 
Uh, jokes aside, Philippines will open early next year. There's no way they'll stay shut till 2023. Most businesses will go bankrupt and people are getting fed up with COVID and the scaremongering. Good, Tracy. Yeah, good. I mean, I, I know lots that are still going strong, but there are some that, uh, yeah, that have given up. Been sending a little money to some friends to help locals with rice and canned goods, courtesy of friends and family here, but coming now, concerned due to the barangay captains wanting some. Huh. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. There's, there's, there's the corruption here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Ed. All of Southeast Asia are cool spots to retire. I hope it opens. Do not be sure if it will ever open. Well, I would imagine at some point it's got to, but uh, let's see what happens. I do review my retirement funds. Also, I figure that overestimate should have around 3,500 to 3,800 per month. Don't smoke, rarely drink, but I do love to golf. It's not painful hunting for a girlfriend here, Paul. I'll, I'll just say that. <laughs> Dating is abundant. Just seen a news report about new clusters in Singapore caused by karaoke bars. New restrictions again. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I, I it, in the Philippines, they hand you these just like one napkin. And it's like one single ply tissue. By the way, they call it tissue here in the Philippines. Because if you ask for a napkin, you're really essentially asking for a sanitary napkin. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Taking the Tesla certification course now. Okay, awesome. Did you use my link or did you use a, a different uh, company? Uh, I mean, there's there's more than one good one out there. So I live on a thousand a month in the U.S. Although when I add a girl from the U.S., the monthly cost goes up along with the attitude. No thanks. <laughs> I have never seen a countertop dishwasher there about the size of a large microwave that connects to the kitchen faucet. No, I've, I've, I've never seen that. The coffee is gone. Uh, I'm going to Nicaragua August 1st for a month. We'll report back. I'm going to plan B, which is retirement in Latin America. It's not, uh, a, not a bad thing. I have a two-year plan going ASAP, I hope, in 2021, then twice in 2022. Downsize, sell during that time here in Canada, then freedom, 55 in May 2023. That's a good age. Yeah. I've been trying to find info on golf prices. I saw your video the other day with interview. He indicated he was doing a lot of golf when he was single, was hoping that he would expand on the costs. I plan on uh, talking to him again and doing an interview. So most definitely we could do that. Uh, I have not been to Elo Elo. I, I hear rave reviews about how clean it is and modern and uh, they've got sidewalks and there's condos and malls. I hear they're a bit more reserved in Elo Elo, but yes, I would like to go check it out. That's where we plan to retire to. We've started a couple of stores that are selling goods, and my real estate business is virtual from in anywhere. That's awesome. There's a guy, Dean, promoting Nicaragua on his alpha male life channel. <laughs> so, Gary, I'm from Sparta, Wisconsin, originally wondering where you're from. I'm actually was born in Minnesota, and then uh, my parents retired in Florida, so I went with them and, uh, and moved to Orlando, Florida when I was 13. And then I, I joined the military and I was all over the place. But I ended up back for, I transferred with my job and ended up in Hudson, Wisconsin. That was the last place I was living before I moved here. So, yeah, you're welcome. Could a fully vaccinated American travel to a green lane country, stay a while, and then get into the Philippines that way? No. Because again, right now, the green lane is only for OFWs in for existing visa holders. It has nothing to do with tourists. I think a lot of people make the mistake that this green lane tourism, that if you're from one of those countries, 
that you can get into the Philippines and you can't. It's only it, it only relates to um, OFWs and people who have existing visas right now. 72 hour PCR test from Nicaragua plus return ticket, Colombia, Mexico required neither. Uh, it's kind of apples and oranges, but I'm kind of leaning towards Cebu again. I really am. Yeah, you're welcome, Raquel. If you're in Social Security or SSDI, you can get your benefit wired into any local bank in the world. Call Social Security for details. That's, that's right. Again, I don't know if you really, if it's really necessary, though. Um, I don't know why people want it sent to a local bank here. I rather, I'd feel more comfortable having it go to a bank in, in the U.S., but that's that's just me. I plan on living in Lipa, four hours from Manila with my girlfriend, wife. After I move there, we have a house with a store. Be, okay. Your girlfriend and your wife, or your girlfriend and then she be, is becoming your wife. <laughs> What country do most Filipino people like the most? I don't know if there's a country they like the most. Um, they're kind of partial to the United States because of the ties with the United States. However, that has been fading a, a little bit. And um, they do like Korea a lot because of the K-pop and, uh, and the K-dramas and all that kind of stuff. But, you know... One thing for a lot of Westerners, it doesn't matter if you're from Germany, Italy, the UK, You all, a lot of us all get put into this uh, group of, they call us Canos, which is short for Americanos, even though you're not American, because they just see you and they're like, okay, he's, uh, he's American or Cano. People do not like corrupt government, and if you are living in the U.S., then you need to get out. Then for you, if you do not believe that U.S. government is corrupt, you are living in a dream. Every country is corrupt, I would say. Yeah, I'm not sure I feel real comfortable about Nicaragua, to be honest. Uh, it's already been long enough. Would you like to place a bet that this place will not open till 2023 fully? People like you have been saying it will open soon. It'll open soon. It'll open soon. Well, I hope it opens soon. I don't think it'll open till next year. Um, now, when I say open, I don't, I don't mean fully open. I mean limited tourism, vaccinate, you know, like a soft opening. I've saved enough to earn 5,000 a month retirement. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to reduce my age from 64 to 50. <laughs> See, I've been thinking about it. Why does it have to open? Look at, look at much of the Middle East. Yeah. I mean, really the Philippines s says that they really depend more on local tourism. A clothes dryer. They do have dryers, yes. So, I mean, the laundry mats and stuff have them. Um, my washing machine doesn't exactly completely dry it. It really just spins it and, and gets them pretty dry. But uh, and then I hang I hang it up. Okay, you're using a, an accredited college for it. Okay, excellent. It's. Uh, it doesn't take, it's not hard. In fact, sometimes you'll be labeled a chick boy when you just, they'll just look at you and say, oh, you look like a chick boy. I, I've been told that before. They tell me, oh, you look like a chick boy. I'm like, I haven't even done anything. How, how can you label me a chick boy already? But yeah, they will look at you and, and label you something before they even know you. Uh, what country has the best infrastructure in Southeast Asia, which I think, well, you got Singapore and probably Malaysia would be my bet. How you doing, Butch? Good to see you. Yeah, I lived, in, I lived in Orlando. I lived on Kirkman Road. I lived in Metro West near Universal Studios quite a, quite a, quite a long time ago. Hey, thanks, Gio. Looking forward to the following up interview with some golf info. I'll definitely ask him about that because there was some 
questions that people had that I'd like to talk a little bit more about with them. Whack Whack Golf in Manila seems a fitting name. <laughs> no, I, I haven't had that uh, Barocco coffee from Cavite or Bertonga, or have I? No, I, I haven't. So, uh, thank you, Luke. I appreciate that. And you, yeah, I, I don't really like to get into the whole other type topics. I like to keep it pretty general. Let's see here. Uh, I just got back to the USA from Mexico for a month. I was looking to get the mill SRR. V in the Philippines, is this possible soon? I do not plan to get the vaccine as of yet. Well, again, you're going to have to have the vaccine to probably get to the Philippines. And then uh, there's a there's like a little gnat flying around. Sorry, like a little gnat flying around, driving me nuts, I'm trying to kill the little bastard. Um, you can start the process of the SSRV, but to finish it and complete it, you need to be here in the Philippines. And of course, to get to the Philippines, when it does open, you probably are gonna to have to be vaccinated. Let's see here. I'm not doing anything specific to retire in the Philippines, just keeping 18K a year into the 401K and should have the means to retire what, whenever I choose 62, 17 years from now. Uh, the other thing, again, I, I mentioned this on the on my uh, last video, but when you're ready to move out here, go through every card you have, debit card, bank card, driver's license, passport, every single thing that you have that has an expiration and call them up and see if you can extend the expiration date. I had five years left on my passport when I had it extended. Um, they said, yes, you can do it, but, um, you know, you have to, you still have five years left on it. And I said, I just want to do it. So I just, I just did everything. The only thing I forgot foolishly was my U S license, which expired. I don't know how I forgot that vital piece of, of, uh, identification to extend, but I did. The other thing was having multiple sources of being able to access your money. It doesn't matter if you're making 10,000 US a month. If you don't have access to your money, something happens, you're screwed, man. Um, I know people who do pretty well with money, but then their card expires or the bank eats their card and, or they get locked out of their card and, and all of a sudden they can't get it back again. I mean, they're screwed. Have a second bank account, have remitly, have wise, have multiple ways to get your uh, money. So, how you doing, Ephraim? Good morning, Gio. What has been your most difficult thing to get used to in the Philippines? Unorganiz unorganization. Um, it's, it's very hard to get used to. Like, you, you know, you have one time I had a problem with my bank. I went into the bank. Uh, they had I had a double uh, transaction, a double withdrawal on my bank from one vendor. It should have only been one. Went in and they said, okay, it'll be uh, six to eight weeks for us to uh, investigate it. I'm like six to eight weeks, you know, because in the U.S. I could go into the bank and they probably would have refunded the money immediately and investigated it. it. Took them six to eight weeks to solve it. Everything's just so slow, but you just have to get used to it. I had many Panay coworkers make no mistake. They're very family oriented, even though they are westernized. It's good. That's good that most of them have retained that. Uh, agreed. Every country, ha yeah, I mean, they all do. Can't get away from that. Place, uh, place a bet. It never opens. Wow. <laughs> that would be crazy. Um, you, you never know, though. Airfare from the U.S. to the Philippines has tripled lately. Oof. Uh, Gio, the main reason I would not move to South America and move to the Philippines would be the language. Or I would not need to learn a new one like I would in South America. Very true. Very true. How are you doing, Freddie from St. Petersburg? Good to see you. Uh, if you only get Social Security or uh, DL, it's a minimum income for traveling or owning a car or rental of a nice condo in a nice city. USA is turning socialist. Time to 
find another version of what the USA was 30 years ago. Any suggestions? <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're <laughs> the countries are becoming few, far and in between of where you can go. How many times have I been called Joe? More times than I can even remember or count. If I had a, a peso for every time I was called Joe, I'd be a peso millionaire. I have females as friends in the US. How do Filipinas react to men having girls as friends? Uh, not usually very well. They are very jealous, very possessive. Um, they don't handle you having female relationships usually. It's one thing about American women I can say, you know, like I could go have lunch with a female coworker at work. There wasn't any problem with my, my ex-wife, you know. If they open next year, that will be two years since I've seen my girlfriend in the Philippines. Wow. Our two worlds, Canuck Summers, Pinoy Winters. It's <laughs> an interesting name. I believe we will see Balakabayan and OFW Green Lane massively expand into most countries by fall. Now let's talk quarantines. Minimum one more year is my bet. Tourists, not until spring. That's it. That's a pretty valid answer. Papua New Guinea is relatively developed in Southeast Asia, but typically overlooked. Hello, uh, Frances. Good morning from Georgia. Good to see you. Old saying, do business in Singapore, party in Thailand, and live in Malaysia. I like that. And get your girl in, in the Philippines. <laughs> hey, John, how you doing? Hey, Joe, at 70, feel like I felt my, left my run too late, running out of time to get back to my fiance in Ormoc. Also been enjoy, enjoying the group to keep me connected. Good, good. I'm uh, Again, it's uh, Geo in the Philippines dash friends on Facebook. I'll put the link down again. I'm going to go another 15 minutes, guys. I'm going to call it a day. I've got some work to do. Right now, have to be in the country to get the military SSRV visa. Yes, correct. If they wanted to open, they would open. For some reason, certain countries do, do not want to open. Vietnam has great infrastructure. Yeah. If things don't open till next year, what do you think the world will be like a year from now? Not pretty, Patrick, not pretty. Yeah. Yeah. You can always send yourself money through Western Union. Um, Gary, so I, I do it too. I, I use Remitly down in, in the links. I use that when my card expired. I was wiring myself money um, every couple of weeks until uh, I finally found a friend who was coming to the U uh, coming to the Philippines from the US. He agreed to let me have my debit card mailed to him and he hand delivered it, which was fantastic. But yeah, it was a pain. When I was in Vietnam, I never saw trash laying around all over the place like here in the US when you see trash here and there and there, Vietnam is same like that. Yeah, Vietnam is pretty good. Uh, Remitly is much better. Western Union, I, I never recommend Western Union. They're more expensive and worse exchange rate. So now let's put it this way, guys. I'm with my wife walking around the Philippines and Filipinas were still pinching my butt. You won't have any problem with the Filipinas. <laughs> but name one city or country that does not have trash. If you know such a place, I want to move there. Well, Singapore. Malaysia is really good too, but Singapore, you won't find any trash in Singapore. I promise you that. You'll be caned, jailed, fined. When you first got to the Philippines, what did you like the most? And it hasn't it changed or is it still the same? What do you like the most now? Huh. That's a good question. What did I like the most? I like the friendliness of the people. People just willing to talk to you and they're not judgmental. You know, you can talk to a girl who's in her 20s and she's not like, ooh, what is this old guy talking to me, you know? It, you know, it's just nice that, the, you know, they're happy and they, they like the chat with you and, and they're open and they're friendly. And I have still experienced that. 
to this day. It hasn't changed at all. Um, so that's still what I like the most. So, uh, Alex, Gio, out of all the vloggers, you're definitely the best when it comes to the live streams. You get right to the point, conversations flowing. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. You know, I mean, before I started live streaming, I was watching other people's live streams. And I noticed people would leave a lot of comments like, hey, I've, I've asked a question five times now. You haven't even gotten to me. And uh, a lot of people seem to get frustrated by that. So I try to not talk about one thing too long and I try to zip through most of the comments. I try. Um, when I get, sometimes I get over 400 viewers or you know, a few times 500 viewers and it's impossible, I can't do it. Uh, Banking is a big issue to have or not have money in a Philippines bank, how to get a big amount if needed for hospital, for instance. You, again, you can wire um, through Remitly. Um, the hospitals here do take credit cards, guys. You, you can use your debit card or your credit card. So I don't know why some people think you have to have it in cash. You can use your credit card. Um, I've, I've done it. And so was my friend when he had a motorcycle accident. So, but uh, remitly, you can wire yourself a, a big, large sum. I think up to 250,000 per day. No word on medical cannabis. Um, stay away from it. Uh, you know, stay away from it when you're here. You'll find enough people speak English that anyone will be fine in Latin countries. Yeah. Well, Guyana speaks English in South America, just to correct the, the record, but I'm heading to the Philippines. Belize, too. Belize. Oh, okay. You'll get married. Okay. Not girlfriend and uh, wife. Okay. <laughs> I hear on your videos that they're getting millions of vaccines from various countries in the Philippines news. Do they indicate plan for distribution? No concerns or vaccines expiring. Um, they have been distributing it out uh, to the highest hit areas and the most densely populated areas first. So how you doing, uh, Steve? Good to see you. Good to see you, Patrick. So James, you just filed for your retirement visa or a retirement plan on coming to the Philippines. Oh, okay. Excellent. Google Translate. Spanish is not. Is Spanish is probably one of the, if you're going to do it, Spanish is probably one of the easiest languages to do. So thank you, Ed. Take care, buddy. I'm still waiting for Subic to finish renovations and the U.S. Navy gets back in. Um, Zoom is good. I still like Remitly, and I also like uh, Wise. If you're doing a bank-to-bank -bank transfer, there is no nobody's better than Wise. Plus, Wise, you can get the debit card now. Um, links in this description, guys. But Wise is one that I would sign up for, even if you never use it. Sign up for it, get your debit card, and you are set, and you have it. Just you know, sign up for it, have it ready. Same with like Remitly, you know, you just sign up for it. If you never use it, great. But if something ever happens while you're traveling, you have it. Uh, if you have a girlfriend in the Philippines and have girls that are just friends, friend, then the only ones you have some friends with are her family only, but you still need to worry even. Yeah, I mean, um, there has been lots of cases I have heard of where Filipinas, where their friend will cheat with uh, the boyfriend, you know? So yeah, it's um, only service connected disability only. It's gotta be service connected related. Poland doesn't, okay. American Express, no transaction, no, no transaction fees. Yep, those, those are fine too. I still like Remitly the best and Wise is essential. I tell everybody Wise is. Mexico, zero trash too. Okay. Yeah, I just wire myself money. I just wire it to myself. So thank you, Ephraim. I appreciate that. Um, you can use your routing and bank account number, Todd. I use it through, and if you use the routing and the bank account number, there's no transaction fee of $399. They waive the transaction fee. 
it takes a few days to arrive. I think it takes 72 hours, so you don't get it immediately. If you use the debit card when you wire yourself, transfer yourself money from Remitly, it comes immediately. So I chatted with Nay's cousin when I was still in the States, and she said fat now. Um, it can be wise is the best, but Remitly, if you use my link, the very first time you get a special exchange rate and no transaction fee. And it's much better than the exchange rate. So it works in a pinch. That's not what you want to use on a regular basis. You just want to use your debit card for a regular basis. So it's a whole, the Philippine people have no money and they're much more friendlier than people in the U.S. No matter what income level, it never seems to be enough. What does that tell us? Yep. Yeah. I agree. We can we can learn a lot from them. We really can. <clears throat> Breaking news: LA County will require mask wearing next week, even for vax people, because of the big rise of COVID variants and hospitalization. Jeez, never ending. France has vaccine passports. <clears throat> Panama English is fairly widely English is fairly widely spoken. It uses the U.S. dollar. Must be because of the American influence and all the years there. When I was in Vietnam, I would get lots of girls come up and just start talking to me, even whole groups of them to practice their English. I wish it was just for my looks, but that was not why. Yeah, we're, we're um, in Vietnam. If you go to like to the parks, a lot of people just they look for foreigners to practice English with. Not so much. It depends where you live, though. Yeah, I've had no problem whatsoever. I've had no problem whatsoever with it. Costa Rica, yeah. I, I know a couple that just got married in Costa Rica. Uh, American and uh, Filipina, they met there. No, not really. I, I, I went a long time without ever using it. It still stays active. She's in uh, Camigan, okay, and she got her first dose. Okay, good, excellent. Realistically, I don't expect to be back in the Philippines till 2023. No matter how many vaccinations, how many nuances and green lanes, this is a mechanism of government control. Um, let's see here. I will find the uh, link for you if you guys are talking about, uh, I'll send the remitly one and I will send the wise one uh, because those are really good to have let's see and here is the wise one there you go i just i just linked it okay uh it's like 6 p.m here i'm where now that's that later today do you think there'll be more foreigners visiting the Philippines after the pandemic is over than before? No, I think less. I, again, I, I think less. I, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but a lot of them were only coming out here for long distance relationships. A lot of those have ended. I know so many that have not made, have just ha haven't uh, made the test of time. You know, the, they've given up on it. And a lot of guys were just coming out here for that reason. Another thing is a lot of people don't want to be vaccinated and you're going to have to be vaccinated to come out here. So, yeah. No, that's excellent. No. And that's what I tell people have Fidelity, Schwab, USAA, get all your refund ATM fees refunded. I'm talking about a backup because if your bank eats your Charles Schwab card or your, or your card expires, and you want to get something in the mail here, it, trust me, it doesn't always get here. You gotta be careful. Um, so again, here's here's the whys. So that's why I, I also tell people get two bank accounts, get a Charles Schwab, get maybe get a Fidelity, get a USAA, get, uh, I don't know, have a second one for a backup too. So. So opening up internationally October or November for our vaccinated foreign friends and guests. I'm on the old dog side, Team Paul. Uh, no, it's not old dog. It's Paul's Asian adventure, not old dog. I've uh, been watching your vlog since before. 
since before time or before? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, if we get married in another country, will that allow me to enter the Philippines? You can then apply for the Balikabayan visa at the Philippines embassy. So yes, you can get in that way. I know people who uh, have done that. How you doing, Ray? Good to see you. <clears throat> Guys, I'm gonna go another five minutes here. I'm already uh, feeling it in the old voice. <clears throat> I could use some water here. Yeah, no, no problem. Thank you guys. Uh, thanks, John. Take care, guys. Yes, the average age in the Philippines is 24 point something. Um, every day there's a fresh batch of Filipinas turning 18, thousands. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lee. I appreciate that. How difficult is it to deal with the girlfriend's parents and relatives if there's a big age gap? They are, yeah, actually, I will take a, a drink of water and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So uh, this is a good question because age gap, I don't, they mostly, they don't really have any problem with it. I've never met any Filipinas parents who've had any problem with the age gap. However, for me personally, um, somebody has mentioned this before, but for me personally, it feels a little bit awkward if I'm older than the mom and dad. That's just me. I, I, and, and I'm not saying don't date those girls or have a relationship. You get, anybody can do whatever they want, but it does feel a little bit weird for me when I say, when the, the mom will ask me, how old are you? And I'll say 49 and she says, oh, I'm 42. Then it feels a, it feels a little bit weird. I don't know about you guys, um, but yeah, it can be a bit strange, but I don't have any problem with it. And they usually have no problem with it whatsoever. Um, I'll share this between you guys. I went on a date with a Filipina the other day and I met her dad and her dad says, my, my daughter says you want to marry her. And I'm like, what? And th this was the first date. It was literally, I had literally been in their home like 10 minutes. And this was the first time. All we did was meet at Jollibee and had, had lunch together. And then I, I went to drop her back off at home, met the dad and the dad's like, I understand you want to marry my daughter. <laughs> so. Yeah, actually, you want to set wise up and remitly up while you're still in your home country. Order, you can even remitly has a debit card now that you can order, and wise has a debit card. So set it all up, get the debit cards and everything. Yeah. Yeah, Chase, Chase has a bank in Cebu as well. There's a there's a bank in Cebu. So yeah. Thank you, Danny. Uh, thank you, Scott. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day in about two minutes here. I always like to go to the 90 minute perk. What the Filipino girls just like, well, typically what I understand, there's a few reasons. One, financial reasons, let's be honest. It's, it's financial um, because if they had a choice and they could meet a rich Filipino closer to their age, trust me, they probably want to be with the richer Filipino. Uh, Filipino. Now, a lot of Filipinas really just want a mixed baby. That's another big thing. Um, three, a lot of them will have ha, be a single mom and the Filipino guy will have left them and they have now have a bad taste in the, you know, from dating Filipino guys. So now they're looking for a Western guy. Usually it's the single moms. You know, there's a variety of reasons or, or the guy cheated on them or whatever. And they think, OK, well, I'll try my luck with a Western guy. So love life is doing good. No, I will not bring her on YouTube. Um, nope, I just won't do it. Right. It can be it's not the best exchange rate. Wise is the very best, but you can have your money immediately. Uh, you can have it deposited into your girlfriend's account. 
And if you do use the link for Remitly, the first transfer, there's no fee and you will get a better exchange rate, which is probably going to be um, more than the current exchange rate. It's just a promo. It's only on the first time. But if you sign up and you do it the first time, then it's it's really good. So. Uh, okay, we'll finish the comments and I am done for the day. I'm 53, girlfriend 33, and a son of seven. Not, nothing wrong with that age gap at all. That's that's not bad at all. Hunk Hogan, <laughs> how you doing? Do you know anything about humanitarian visas? I don't. I don't. I don't know anybody who's ever been on one, so I, I couldn't give you any tidbits about that. Hey, Carl, we're actually just ending it uh, right about now. Very awkward, very awkward, yeah. So what did you tell the girl's dad when he said that you wanted to marry her? I made a joke out of it. I said, well, I'm a bit busy today, but maybe tomorrow, and I laughed. And then he laughed too, so, but yeah, it was a bit awkward. Bella Filipina, watching from Dumaguete. Good to see you, Bella. I don't think I've ever seen you on here before, so welcome. I could. That'd be a good idea. Maybe I should. I should hire. I should do a poll. Should I hire a Filipina to help me read my comments on YouTube? That'd be a, a great idea. My plan is to be debt free before I get there, and I'm 99% there. You're, you're, you're there, man. Girls do want to get married faster. They want to get married fast because they want to lock you down, and you are a prized asset. I mean, if they can get you. Mary, they, they know that chances are that uh, you're not going to find somebody else, you know. So, hey, take care. Have a good day. Yes, um, that's the good thing, Lee, is remitly you can wire you can wire to uh, cash remittance offices like Palawan Express, Sabrana, M. Luler, L. Luler. Yep, those are all great. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Gio about, about the choke, I know. I, I don't know what it is. I, I hit the 90 minute mark and my voice starts to go. Yep. Hazel, and it's true. When you lose your card, the bank will not be sending a replacement to any other country apart from your US address placed on your account when you set it up in the US. That's totally true. Um, the only thing that saved me is I had USAA and USAA is a bank that's designed for military members and they're used to sending cards out to Germany, to Kuwait, to Japan. So being in the Philippines, that it was one that would actually do it. Um, but most banks do, do not want to send you a card out here. So guess what? You better have access different ways. Wise is the very best. Wise is the best. Remitly, I use second for a backup. Yep. <laughs> All right, Michael, good, good going. Ron expired, Ron's card expired. He's going through the same thing and he's, he knows. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to call it a day. Um, I got things to do. So thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.